subject uh, submissions. Thank you. Thank you for mentioning the time. Now, M. Muhammad Abdullah Ji. Honorable Vice Chairman, sir, thanks for the opportunity given me to speak on this day. Sir, this is my maiden speech. At the outset, I, I would like to express my sincere thanks and gratitude to the stalwart of the Dravidian movement, Tande Periyar. Without him, we are not here. Our founder leader, Great Anna, former Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu and former member of this August House, where today I stand to represent Tamil Nadu and its people. I am also indebted to Kalingar, who inspired me to join the Dravidian movement to fight for the rights of the marginalized and oppressed. I am eternally grateful to our DMK party president and honorable chief minister of Tamil Nadu, the man of humanity, Mr. MKS, and our DMK youth wing secretary, Mr. Udayani Stalin MLA, for choosing me to represent this interest of our state and its people. Sir, also, I want to thank this union government also, sir, because my, today my dream comes true. I'm standing here. Our union government sold out Air India. Our union government sold out to LIT. Our union government sold out to many government entity. But fortunately, they left this house, remain for the country. I have a chance to stand here today. <laughs> I have a chance here today. Thanks for the union government. The union's finance minister and the guys of the budget has repeated the same old schemes from previous years with no augmentation of funds for such schemes and has conveniently ignored such an important promise of the union government. Now that the time to pay has come, I shall elucidate more on this during the course of my speech, sir. The Union Finance Minister has stated India to have entered into Amrit Gol, the 25 years long led up to India at 100, and has referred to Honorable Prime Minister Independence Day address that had apparently set out the vision for India at 100. What was the vision? It was nothing. Nothing was the vision. It was nothing but the same thing repackaged for the third year in a row with no financial allocation or even an inkling of starting the promised projects. The Honorable Prime Minister first announced a 100 lakh crore rupee, 100 lakh crore rupee infrastructure plan in his 2019 Independence Day address to the nation. It was renamed, again it was renamed as a national infrastructure pipeline project in his Independence Day address in 2020. The next year the name was renamed. And further, it was rebranded as BM Gati Shakti. So that year, they couldn't find a proper English name, I think so. They have chosen a Hindi name. So BM Gati Shakti in 2021, Independence Day speech. Now our Union Finance Minister has parroted the same thing in her budget speech. I don't blame the Honorable Finance Minister. The present Union Finance Minister and her predecessors of this government remind me of the popular Tamil saying, Meaning, a party guarder or supporter invariably follows their leader blindly with the blatant dis disregard to everything else. I say, this with, I say this with proof to back up my claim and not just as a passing government. I'll tell you how, sir. Honorable sir, what I am talking about? We need to go to seven years back in time to understand how this government has lied to its citizen. If one takes a look at the budget speech of the finance minister of this government, this specific word and issues find mention at the following places. Like I mentioned earlier, these are the budget speeches of three different finance ministers over the last seven years, but with the same lie. Union budget 
paragraph 13, point number 1, and paragraph 14. Union budget 2017-2018, paragraph 19, point 1, paragraph 21, and paragraph 34. Union budget 2018 and 2019, paragraph 11. Interim budget 2019 and 2020, paragraph 5 and paragraph 23. Union, union budget 2019 and 20, paragraph 50, and union budget 2020, 2021, paragraph 22, and again union budget 2021, 2022, paragraph 25. What was the promise? What was the promise? Doubling of farmers' income by 2022. Doubling of farmers' income by 2022. The 75th year of our independence, it was clearly written in all the budget. Now I call upon the member of this August House to go through the union budget 22-23, and this, this does not find at anywhere else. Okay. The, the, the year, the, the year, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm coming to you, I'm coming to you. The year in now 2022, have our farmers' income doubled? Our well chairman, sir, it is doubled? No. But sadly, the death of the farmers were doubled and tripled. It was doubled and tripled. On a contrary, farmers have been harassed by this government with its policies that favor only to their corporate friends and masters who made this government, who is beginning this government, who is running this government. The government introduced three farm laws which were detrimental to the livelihood of farmers across the nation to appease their corporate masters. The three farm law removed the provision of MSB, which were directly detrimental to the government's agenda of doubling farmers' income. Honorable sir, the entire opposition correctly realized the impact of such a screwed law will have on the agriculture community and pleaded the government not to introduce the law and to save the farmers who were already reeling under the effect of first wave of the pandemic. The Shiromani Agalital one of the government's oldest allies were forced to walk out of your allies because only one reason, the eagerness of this government, its leaders, and its inability and unwilling to listen to dissenting op opinions. This government is marked by its inaction, inaction on multiple front, inability to govern, inability to lead, inability to take the country and its citizen into confidence. This government and its leaders follow the policy of my way or highway. My way or highway. This is their only own policy. They pay no heed to the voices of marginalized. Honorable sir, this government has a blood on its hands. Hundreds of farmers were killed while expressing their reservation against the three farm laws. This government finally repealed the farm law during winter session 2021, not because it realized the detrimental effect of representation from farmers, but because of the five-day, five-state elections that are currently underway. This government is inaccessible, not just to the citizen of this nation, but also to the elected representatives. They are Elected, yeah. <laughs> who, who are not... <laughs> who are not given time to put forth the representation of their constituent and people to the ministers, as evident, by the denial of appointments to my esteemed party colleagues a few weeks ago. It should be noted that after the conclusion of Tamil Nadu Legislative Assembly, once the Tamil Nadu Legislative Assembly over, that election in 2021, the Union Finance Minister have conveniently forgotten Tamil and Tamil poets and their words, which has not found a place in their budget speech this year. <laughs> because the election is over, Tamil is also over from her budget speech. In a, in, a, in, a, in a parliamentary democracy like ours, the Prime Minister is considered as the primus inter pars. It was told by Shivana to me, many times he told, yeah, first among the equals. First, he is first among the equals, and the role of the cabinet is to aid and advise the prime minister in the discharge of his duty. But here, it doesn't appear so. The great Tamil poet and philosopher Thiruvalluvar in his magnum opus Thirukural says, 
அறிகொன்று அறியான் எனினும் உறுதி உழ இருந்தான் குரல் கடல் மீனிங் அல்தோ த கிங் மே பி அட்டர்லி இக்னோரண்ட் இட் இஸ் த டியூட்டி ஆஃப் த மினிஸ்டர்ஸ் டு கிவ் எம் அ சவுண்ட் அட்வைஸ் ஆன கான்ட்ரரி ஆன கான்ட்ரரி த மினிஸ்டர் இயர் ஆர் பிஸி ப்ரைசிங் த எம்பரர்ஸ் நியூ ட்ரெஸ்ஸஸ் they are they are too busy they are very too busy and another one important issue i want to talk sir the budget imposes 30% tax on the transaction of cryptocurrencies <laughs> cryptocurrency to note here that cryptocurrency are not yet legalized in this country it is not legalized in this country as yet but the taxation shows that it is legal only by paying tax okay but since there is no regulatory body or institution to control it cannot be considered as a legal asset it is illegal it becomes legal by collecting tax though you are collecting tax there is no regulatory body i want to tell you one thing you can sell the drugs which is illegal but if you pay it will become illegal but if there is no regulatory body can you find any difference between these two mr abdullah no? mr abdullah one second yeah Uh, you may continue sp- speech tomorrow also because there is time constraint we'll have to i have to make an announcement there after special mention shall there so please sit down tomorrow you may continue tomorrow you will continue my flow will go sir my i, I give so, me one minute i want to finish with this then i will continue tomorrow okay, okay, okay. i just want to finish this, finish with this matter then tomorrow i will continue the next one sir you are you are collecting the tax for the non legal non legalized thing is there any system that exists in the world like this sir huh? there is a practice of taxing legalized system across the world yeah please continue tomorrow please please